Yeah. We can't. We don't believe this. We son of God. Actually, we believe this. We believe in his miracle as well. That he was born from a mother, no father. But the one who was born miraculous is Adam. He was born with no father, no mother. No father. He created, created Adam by the will of God. And as well, since God has sent the prophets and messengers, sent them for a mission to convey his message to the people. And that's what Allah stated in the Quran. Barely the religion of Allah is Islam. Meaning Islam, that means, sub it means submitting to God. Anyone who submits his will or her will to the will of God is a Muslim. So that's why we believe all the prophets and messengers they are Muslims due to this. They submit their will to God. That Moses saying pretty much these terms, Jesus be so when he said, that's what you want, not my will, but you he submits his will to the will of God. Same Moses, same David, same just turn to repentance and God will forgive. They didn't need to do a certain sacrifice for an innocent person in order to gain the, gain the salvation rather than the people. They just turn to him, seek forgiveness from him. So simple and so straightforward. That is basically our our plan. What do you think? Yes, yeah, well, as I mentioned to you, there, there are many things that are similar about the concepts of the concepts of but there are most important things. But the most important thing is basically accepting that God is unique, the uniqueness of God, even in his description. So we tell God when the creation that there will be similar to God. So that's why, for example, to say Jesus to be God, that's a big issue. That Jesus to be some God, again, about the deficiency of God, as in describing God to be deficient. To do something. Why? If God is all powerful, God is able to do this. And that's why they say, even if I came up with some Christian who said, not you, but God, but God cannot, for example, forgive until he will go into this process of being tortured, being killed, etc., in order to gain the suffering. That is all knowing. God 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 is all So, it doesn't need to have this experience. To recognize things rather than just only <coughs> need to be, uh, you know, just to turn the and repentance. And that's all. That's why one of the names of God in Islam is Al Ghafur, means the all forgiveness. Yes, and you as well. You have a copy. I wanted to advise you there is a unique chapter in the Quran, which is the very first chapter of the Quran, which is this one. The first one. The first chapter. This one is basically the whole Islam is about this one. We recite this chapter at least 17 times a day. So we start, for example, in the middle of the city, the entire living, especially in the city. All three of you. Allah, by the way, is, is the meaning of one God. Allah is the one. It's not a name only in Islam. It's actually even in Aramaic. So Jesus spoke Aramaic. It's even said, Allahu. Even in all Aramaic, they will use the same term, Allahu. That's the same in Hebrew. They say, Elohim. So we're talking about Allah, God. Yeah? So in the name of Allah, the entire message, especially the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the servant of the day of the Lord, the Lord, the is the owner and the controller of the day of judgment, and will be the absolute power of the day. God. Now, then after that, you introduce your relation with God. It is you, of course, and it is you. Now, this chapter is about guidance to the spirit. So, you're seeking guidance from which path? The path of the Lord, the path of those of whom you have restored, restored favor. Half of those have earned your anger, more of those who are astray. So, you want God to guide you to the same path. And the guidance in Islam is in three ways. Showing you the path, leading you to the path, and keeping you steadfast in that path. So if you ask me what is Marmar Archer, I will say to you, it's there. 
like for example marble art you say it's there I'll show you the path and I could say if you come with me I will show you because I'm leading you to the path and sometimes you feel people lift our eyes and say you keep a step fast this is the guy that's what you are we this is the chance we decided only to get to the salah at least seven times yeah so when you go home today let's try to read Try to understand what it stands about. I know I'm here to help and assist if you have any. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. Yes. See what we, what's our take on Mary, Mary, the mother of Jesus. And what's our take on Jesus? We have, by the way, here something about Jesus. My name is Muhammad. Yes. And your name? Football. All right. I'm London. Uh, uh, America. You came here for a visit. Oh have you been, have you ever been exposed to Islam? Or you came to Islam? By the way, I, I respect the good thing. I mean, you know, in, in, in America, they are very devoted Christian compared to the people here. I mean, in comparison, people there are more religious than here. Uh, I mean, Catholic, in a way, is it? Mormon. Okay. The Mormon, which they have multiple wives and other than the same ones. Yeah. <laughs> not anymore. Why not anymore? I thought they still have it, isn't it? The other day I saw uh, there is a documentary, a guy who has, I think, four wives or something like that. They call them, they call them, uh, they, what they get, sisters or something like that. Sister wives, yeah. Seriously. Who, who, did, who did the update? You have a prophet today. Who is this prophet by the way? Is he alive? He's a prophet? Okay, and uh, so everyone who them to be a prophet, what are the things that makes them identify? Okay, so how how does it make someone to be a prophet? But you know, part of the prophet was that someone to be kind of uh, uniquely, for example, in, in Philip or something like that. Or they make mistakes as well. Yeah, they're not in the world. So when they are doing some mad things or something like that, can they be still be a prophet? Or not? Yes. 